So here we are at the Avogadro's Kuetis Medica.com site, and in this video, I want to show you how to add and remove categories. So <coughs> here in the system, um, we have what's known as a, a main top-level category, and that main top-level category is, is actually lawyers. So in this system here, we have what is known as subcategories and sub-subcategories. Notice these subcategories are in a, a specific order, and then below that. Um, are the sub subcategories and they're just shown in as you can see uh, as they go across in alphabetical order so what I want to do here is I want to go ahead and add a new main subcategory and also I want to add a couple of subcategories underneath that and even though I don't have anybody in those subcategories I want to make them appear out here out front anyway so that's what I'm going to show you how to do here in this video so I'm going to come back here into the admin interface. I'm going to come over here to toolbox and over to subcategories, not main categories. I'm going to click into main categories, show you real quick. Just lawyers is in there. Um, you know, later on, if you're going to list paralegals or legal assistants, then you, you might go ahead and, and add more top level categories. But what we have here in this system are subcategories and sub subcategories. So, um, actually, really easy to denote them in the system. One, the, the main subcategories are going to have a number over here denoting what order they're in. And also, right next to them, you're just going to see over here underneath the top level category section you're just actually going to see one top level category of lawyers you're not going to see another parent category listed so so how do we add that in there okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and come over here to add sub level categories I'm gonna click on that and then I'm gonna click Avogadro so you always have to select Avogadro now if I wanted this to be like a subcategory of something under immigration I would come over here to parent category and I would come down over here to immigration HIJKL oops sorry here we are and I see there's there's 13 subcategories there and I would click on that and then go ahead and enter in here but that's not what I want to do actually I want to actually create a parent category here is what I'm calling it so so I don't want this to have a parent because I want it to be a parent of other things but I still need to select Avogados so I'm gonna just gonna go ahead and select Avogados come over here and I'm gonna call this test category and I'm going to in parentheses put my English translation okay now the only thing I need to remember here is don't use any special characters uh, because the machine name the URL the machine name is going to be generated by the system and you want to make sure that there are no special characters and no accent marks or anything like that in there if there are the system will generate a uh, the system may generate uh, an error in the actual name but even if it doesn't it will generate an error in the URL which will generate a 404 page so you want to make sure that there are no accented characters uh, no ends with a tilde on top just um, just standard uh, keyboard characters um, one per line and since we're just putting in one new subcategory I'm just gonna go ahead and type that in there click save new sub level category great now I've got 128 sub level categories and come out here and I'm going to refresh and now you will see I've got my test category English translation right there excellent so now I'm gonna come back to toolbox and I'm gonna go back to subcategories again I wanna go ahead and, and, and flush the buffer that's in there and now I wanna go ahead and and search for that category that I just created so I'm gonna click test and then click search and here's my test category right down here excellent and as you'll see it's a it's it's a, it only has lawyers as a subcategory so it is it is a subcategory not a sub subcategory it's got the the slug already the, the machine name as we call it already uh, created over here from the name it's it's stripped all of the it's stripped all of the uh, extra character spaces and everything out of there and just put in just the letters themselves and took the spaces and uh, oops sorry and, uh, and 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 put a dash in there instead of the space so that's what it's done that's great but I want to actually give this an order because I don't want this to show up on the top I want it to show up on the bottom got about uh, 13 top categories here and so I'm gonna go ahead and give this an order number of 20 I'm gonna do that because um, uh, that'll give me about five six different numbers within there to play with so if I wanted to put something between this and this category right here I can I can do that by giving it a number of 17 or, or 18 really really simple like that so I'm gonna click on save categories 
Okay, so I've given that an order number of 20. And you'll see if it's a sub subcategory, you don't need to give it an order number. Um, it will just go ahead and show up in alphabetical order. But if it is a uh, just a standard subcategory, you will want to do that. And now when I refresh, come out here and I refresh the page. Now I've got test category down here on the bottom. Okay, that's great. So I've added my new my new top level category here, as I call it subcategory, but it, it looks like a top level category out here. So Okay, now I want to add some other categories underneath this. So I'm going to click Add Sublevel Categories. Choose Lawyers, and come down to my test category right here that I've created. Click on that, and here I'm going to type in Sub Sub Category 1, and I'm going to come down to a new line, and I'm going to type in Sub Sub Category 2 as my second sub sub category so I can put in more than one time right? more than one at a time so if I have a bunch of them I can just go ahead and put in a bunch of categories that are going to come underneath here but I just need to make sure to put them in a new line once I've done that so I've got my lawyers selected I've got my parent category selected I've got my two new categories each on their own line I'm just gonna go ahead and click Save excellent okay so now that I've saved those I'm gonna come out here I'm gonna refresh but there's an issue. They're not showing up out here because they are a sub-subcategory and they're not assigned to anyone yet. So if they're a sub-subcategory, you have to assign them to somebody. If not, then they won't show up out here. So what do we do? We want to assign them to somebody so they'll show up, but we don't want them to actually show up on anybody yet because we don't we don't have them actually anybody there that we're going to assign them to yet. So we have what's known as an administrative account. I'm going to come over here to members. It says search members and I'm going to select administrative account and click search members and you'll see we have our example listing for an administrative account. Over here I'm going to click login. That's going to open up a new window and log me into the account right here. I'm going to come over here to where it says manage profile right here where it says listing details. Click on that. That's going to show me all of these and you'll see most of these are selected so I'm going to come in here. I'm going to select test category. I'm going to open this up. I'm going to select this and this. Click save. Back out here real quick. I've got two in there and I'm also going to go ahead and I'm just going to go ahead and select this as the core category. So now I can see that I've got everything in there selected. Just go ahead and click save and continue. And now I'm going to come out here and I'm going to refresh. And now you'll see right here we have our sub sub category one and sub sub category two. Now I'm going to go ahead and click into sub sub category one and you'll see here we have our example company listed here under sub sub category one. So now we're going to this is showing right now just so that you can you can verify that it's working correctly. We're actually going to come in here and we're actually going to hide administrative accounts from showing up out here. So even though we've got this assigned to an administrative account, administrative accounts, once we write the CSS rule, is, are no longer going to actually show up out here anymore. So just to be aware of that, that you will still be able to have the, uh, the ability to have these categories show up, but we're working on this administrative account no longer actually showing up um, out here in the, uh, in the uh, results anymore. So anyway, now we can go all the way down to the bottom and we see now we have our sub sub categories both and our test category here. So I'm going to now I want to go ahead and actually delete these categories. So I'm going to come in to our toolbox back over to subcategories and I'm going to put in test which was our main category and I'm just going to come over here and click delete that. Now it's gone and now I'm going to go ahead and click sub so we can see our two sub sub categories right here and I'm going to select both of those and I'm going to hit the delete button down here and hit OK. And now when I come out here and I refresh the page now our test category and our two sub sub categories are now gone. So that is how in this system um, you add you add and delete categories. If you have any, have any other questions, um, let us know. In uh, later videos, we're going to go over uh, uh, areas of the uh, the categories in a little bit more detail.